Well, as much respect and appreciation as we have for the skill sets of the lower weight class athletes, there is nothing in pro sports quite like a UFC heavyweight championship fight. That is a reality. You've been there, you've done that. Baddest man on the planet putting that very distinction on the line tonight. Yeah, the champ walks again, and he wears that proudly. Johnny wants to be called the champ. He loves to be called the baddest man on the planet. He is so skilled, he's so dangerous, he's so scary, and he gets up for these types of challenges. He intends to never let go of his belt. He understands the challenge in front of him here tonight, but he has been forged by this training camp, the championship experience he has accrued, and we'll see if he can lead the way he enters as the greatest heavyweight in the world. And now let's get you our tail of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. All right, now for the particulars, here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. This is the first fighting out of the blue corner. Presenting the challenger, Biggs. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending USC heavyweight champion of the world, the Enforcer. Herb Dean, our referee Ready for this fight. one. Ready. Ready. All right, here we go, UFC heavyweight title on the line. This should be good. Beautiful strike. Hook is there again. Great block there. Big elbow there, Lance. Look at how he turned his hip into that leg kick. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. And now they separate. No feeling that process whatsoever. These strikers are getting after it early. They don't like each other, and they are trying to get the opponent out of there right away. Oh, I like that kick there. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. All right, side control now. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. Oh, my goodness. That dark choke is very tight. Good job by the champ there. Slide back up. Back to his feet. Oh, right hook attempt, no good. Fighter separates from the clinch. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie, and immediately gets the underhook. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. And now some separation. Takedown defense holds up. He gets to the single collar tie, and the drive and move his opponent to find openings to land that free hit. Nice counter shot there. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. Now they separate. Oh, he lands a huge kick here. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, in. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment, John. It may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Just over two minutes now to go. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. 
Pretty good position here with the single collar in the clinch. Takedown attempt starting to pile up. Goes to the body there. Oh, and the match again. It's so clear that the guy that's going forward is the guy that's successful. Massive knee lands from the tie clinch. Oh, now gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Jockey in for position here on the clinch. Both fighters trying to get a more dominant position. Tags him with the uppercut. And look at the post on the opposite side to give himself the correct space to land these beautiful knees. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Oh, big knee. Oh, and he lands another leg kick there. I have a novel idea. Maybe the opponent should try to check one of these. He's got to try to check him, but he can't, John, because there's no windup. There's no tell. And when he feels his opponents get the beat on his leg kicks, he'll just pop a jab up, get the hands up to block the face, blast the leg kick on the bottom. It's unbelievable to watch a guy that is so diverse yeah. and has such a great understanding of landing these leg kicks. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Clean with that off. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Big head kick. They're going to get that one blocked. strike to the body really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder rounds. Oh! Spinning back fist! Oh. Second round, straight ahead. Okay, settle down, settle down. I don't want you to strike this guy no more. You listen to me? No more striking with this guy. No more training, okay? It's all about taking this guy down now. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. Though. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys, but nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaping. It's one of the most exciting things you can watch in all of mixed martial arts. Second round underway. Here we go, next round is underway. We saw one submission attempt in the previous round. He wasn't able to finish the job. But he got the position. You know that he's always looking for submissions. Maybe the next time, we'll get it up to find the finish. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Well, new round scene narrative. He continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous frame. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Look at how he drives the knee right into his opponent's midsection. Nice combination of kicks. Champ, look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. He missed with that jab attempt there. Continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the guard, and really frustrating the offensive fight with the guard. Lesson one, but hands up, chin down. Fighters separate from the clinch now. Just over three minutes to go. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? So a much different approach for him here in the second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Oh! Massive left hand. So pretty good.
good recovery by the opponent after getting stunned pretty good. Uh, capitalize on those opportunities. I mean, you can't waste these opportunities. You don't get them as often as you'd like. So when you get a guy hurt, you gotta find a way to finish the fight. Man, his counter's on point tonight. The jab is good. Stuff the takedown, no problem. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. Lands a big elbow there. That was lightning fast, that right in. Oh, now he lands a shot to the leg. So we're starting to see some swelling now, DC. We'll see if he can make some adjustments defensively. He's taking too many of these shots up top. I mean, he's got to move his head right away. He's waiting. He's being reactive. You got to be active in your motions before your opponent sets up their attacks. Now a takedown attempt. It is not there. And not a ton behind it. Nice job blocking that punch. Under a minute now to go in the round. Nice punch there. Oh, he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round. It really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been off point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Take down attempt late in the round and he gets it. He's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape, really using his physicality to his advantage now. He lifted up the neck and snuck his arm underneath to try to get a choke. Oh, looks like he's got that arm playing the triangle now. Oh, submission defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of All right, so there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, I'm being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. You ready to fight? Ready. Go. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship fight. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action continues at a high level. Pretty good first five minutes. Pretty good first five minutes. Both of them can really pick it up. Let's see who decides they're going to lead the dance as we go forward. Bunches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And now some distance as they pull apart. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Oh, he's doing a real good job of leverage. Submission. Oh, that bar flu choke is tight. This is getting tight. Great submission defense on full display by the work. Come on, I'll stand up. Let's work. Making all these shots count. Well, he has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this fight. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through 
these very tough moments. Getting the ball here. This is where he wants to be. All right, so a grueling battle on the ground, and no surprise, the crowd pops in appreciation as the fighters work their way back to the This field. is an educated crowd, J.A. They appreciate high-level grappling. That's exactly what they got in that exchange. Job to control the range and using his reach advantage to, the, to get that punch out. We pass the midpoint here of the fight. Deep now. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red. Arm triangle attempt here. Nice arm triangle setup. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. It looks like the arm triangle's getting very close. Now he's gotta get off to the side, drop his chest to the mat, and get the finish. Oh, so how about that position over submission as he bails on the sub? I think that's a great job. You gotta make sure you don't end up in a worse position because you're trying to score a submission. This is where you don't want to be, though. Oh. Moving his head pretty well defensively on the ground here. Oh, shades of the Godfather with the ground and pound Mark Coleman as he lands again. Coley somewhere smiling, watching this guy land from the top position. Great grounded pound by this man. Another ground and pound strike lands. Nice movement to avoid some of those strikes from the top. Oh, what a moment there as they make their way back to the feet. Crowd may be drunk, but they're absolutely right. Yeah, the crowd loves the stand-up fight. So all that grappling wasn't what they wanted to see. They're back up on their feet now. They're popping for their excitement. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Final 30 seconds of this third round. Twenty seconds to go. Well, he's had next to no answers for the body shots here tonight, and now some redness really starting to develop on that side. We're starting to see the damage. We're starting to visibly see the effect that all these body strikes are taking on this guy. He's got to do something different, and he's got to be very careful because look for his opponent to go over the top now that he set him up. All right, there's the horn, and what a round, champ. We got to talk about the knockdown. When you knock somebody down like that, it got to be kind of fun to stretch your way back to the stool. I mean, you are 10 foot tall. When you can drop another person with a strike, you are 10 foot tall. Now, the issue is he did not find the finish, and he used a lot of energy trying to finish that fight. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants Ready, to get fight. the desired finish. Ready. Fourth round now. Fight scheduled for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. Fourth round of a possible five. And this is the time where fighters are really tested, right? Dig deep, lean on the heart. We'll see who has the upper. You feel pretty good in round number five. Round number four is the one that really does test the fighter. It really does test the metal of the guy inside of the upper. That knee, that knee hurt him. Oh, nice. Trying to establish that jab once again. Well, the most significant stat in this fight, and you can see it right there in plain sight, bottom.
bottom of your screen, the body strikes. His opponent has had absolutely no answer. He hasn't lowered his guard with the elbow whatsoever. And I'm not sure how many strikes to the body he can take before he ends up crippling here. We'll see. He's a lot of good movement. You know he's got Bo's beautiful elbow gets through. And he is back up to his feet. Whiffs on that offering. Huge block there. Oh, that one landed, yep. So a big knockdown for him in the previous round. Confidence is high and building here in this next one. Confidence is key, and he has a ton of it right now. Well, not a bad strategy to continue to attack that eye, but clearly, as you see, that oh, to the leg kick now, that one's no good. Bleeding now, nasty cut on his nose. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Now goes to the uppercut. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. And he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Oh, look at that, high level grappling as the fighter reverses position and attains a dominant position. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, half guard position here. We'll see what he can do with it. A lot of weapons at his disposal from this time. Watch the arm bar, watch, watch the arm bar here. Oh, he's got that arm tight now. He's starting to get it in there, deep. Oh, that arm is in real trouble. He's got it isolated, he's looking to finish. Oh, how about that? He gives up on the submission. Look pretty tight to me. Well, perhaps it's a high fight IQ, perhaps it's obvious, but he is attacking that cut that is getting deeper by the minute. And it seems like the right decision, because you can see his opponent starting to paw at it. You can see it starting to take an effect. It's messing with him mentally. For him, he's got to continue to attack that area and hope that it just keeps getting worse and worse. Inside the closed guard now. I mean, he went right into his full guard. What does he do to try to advance himself to give him more of an advantage on the mat? Yeah, he's trying to get to the Dars here. All right, looks like that Dars is tight. Dars choke locked in. It's only a matter of time, but he cannot rush. He's got to control his opponent. So he's done a good job by the champ there. Sliding back out. Trying to try to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job. Great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. Oh, you got to love the ground and pound strikes here. Nice positional control here. Oh, good movement to avoid that strike from the top. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working, I'm gonna stay on. range with that one. Oh, back and forth we go. All right, so again, he shoots for a takedown. He sort of tried to wrestle offensively tonight, but that attempt did not work. We knew we'd see a commitment to trying to secure those takedowns. We did not anticipate him having to take this many attempts. How long until he gets scared? Oh, there's that low kick. That'll leave a mark. Well, one got through, that kick was blocked. Another big kick. He passes the half. Now he's with an arm triangle on the opposite. Uh, oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in the submission there, just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So, back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're gonna fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round. You see the blood trickling down as he makes his way back to the stool. Cut on the bridge of the nose, or so it appears from the strike in that round. Cut man getting right to work. All right, so the cut man attends to the fighter who has essentially been rendered a one-eyed fighter at this point in time. Some replays from the previous round. No defensive intent, no defensive intensity. No attention to his defense, and this costing him. Now he's dealing with Ready a massive fight. cut over his eye, Ready. and that's going to make it hard for him to see. He's got to change something, man. He's got to.
Boxing 101. Nice punch there in the clinch. Beautiful injury on that takedown. Great finish also. Look for him now to secure his opponent to try and solidify this position. There it is. Now he's running him up. Oh, he got to his spot. Oh, man, every time he lands, it's right on that cut. That is going to have a profound impact on him moving forward. These are big shots, and they're not glancing blows. Look at that, going into the armbar. Arms in deep. Oh, that arm's still in trouble, champ. Let's take that arm A big part of submission defense is just being able to relax in the face of adversity. guys are back and forth with the submission defense wins this transition. Great shot from the top position. Oh, I try to pass here. As Glover Teixeira might say, not today. Not today. Great job of following with the hips, keeping those legs locked and keeping them in full guard. Now he's going full mount. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Grounded him and pounded him. Nice job. Oh, nice elbow. And there it is. Another strike gets through on the ground. Big grounding pound. Oh, he's going triangle here. Oh, that's getting deep. Big time arm triangle situation here. He's very close to finding the finish, but he's got to take his time if he doesn't want to lose the position. Working on Ezekiel choke, and he somehow gets out. He just had to stay patient. It's so unfamiliar. If you panic, you're going to get submitted. He didn't panic. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's got to be careful here. Ground and pound keeps coming. Good movement to avoid that damage coming down. Under two minutes to decide this one now. Well, he's avoided a lot of the damage here on the ground. Nicely done with the head movement there. Not staying still underneath his opponent is allowing him to not get hit with anything too damaging. Position for a submission attempt here. He's got it in. Great job maintaining position there. You never want to lose position to chase a submission. Get the out here. He's trying to get to a half guard at least. At minimum. Try to go to half guard. Posture's up now. That's a vicious head strike. How'd he take it? He might get the TKO here. One minute to go in the fight. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Oh, lands with the ground and pound strike. Staying offensive off of his back as he lands a strike from the bottom position. Man, he ate another shot right on that cut. You think his vision has been compromised at all? You know, it, it has to, right? Because you've got to be able to see to fight. And right now, he's been targeted in that area, and you can see it worsening. 20 seconds to go in the fight. Lands the grounded pound strike here. Oh, staying busy from top position. He lands another ground strike there. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, 
After five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 50-44. For the winner by unanimous decision, and new undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Big. So there he is, the new UFC heavyweight champion, DC. I remember when that was your reality. I'm not sure I've ever seen you so emotional in the octagon. I mean, I was so excited. He could take a breath, but he better turn right around yeah. and yeah. focus on what's right behind them because there are sharks in the water the moment that belt changes hands. A lot of guys will be looking to take it from him, but congratulations to the champ. He's got his knife. 